In national news now, a sad update tonight as former First Lady Rosalind Carter has died. The Carter Center says she passed away earlier today at her home in Plains, Georgia, with her family by her side. She was 96 and had entered hospice care six months after she was diagnosed with dementia. Rosalind was married to Jimmy Carter for 77 years, the 39th president of the United States. ABC's Karen Travers has more. Rosalind Carter devoted her life to improving the lives of others. A close advisor to her husband, President Jimmy Carter, the First Lady was a strong voice for early childhood immunization, human rights, and mental health. Mental health and uh, the problems of the elderly, um, those are the two things that I've been interested in for a long time. The Carters had been married for over 30 years when they moved to the White House, a journey that began in Plains, Georgia, where both were born. Rosalind was the oldest of four children. In 1945, she began dating her best friend's brother, James Earl Jimmy Carter. The next year, 18-year-old Rosalind married the Naval Academy graduate. The Navy kept them moving. Their three sons were born in three different ports. Their daughter Amy was born after the family resettled in Plains. Rosalind helped run the Carter family peanut business before Jimmy eventually entered politics. He won two terms in the Georgia State Senate but lost his first bid for governor. When he decided to run again, his soft-spoken wife took to the campaign trail. He won. Soon, Rosalind was back. I've campaigned full time since April of last year. I really believe he's going to be the nominee. Stumping to help her husband become America's 39th president. So help me God. Throughout it all, Rosalind championed women, children, and charitable causes. Hardworking and tenacious, caring and compassionate, she was dubbed the Steel Magnolia by the White House Press Corps. Together with her husband, she promoted peace and human rights and built houses for Habitat for Humanity. Mrs. Carter authored four books, including her autobiography, First Lady from Plains. After leaving the White House, Rosalind Carter continued to travel the world with her husband, speaking out on the issues she had championed throughout her life. Karen Travers, ABC News.